Kanye's back. James, I know you're amped to talk about Kanye again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't leave. It, he, he does not leave. No. Is that the song of the year? Yes. To me, it is so far. Okay. I love it. Okay. I, I love the song before I even saw the video. And, and I even hit you up. I was like, yo, dude, listen to this song. This is dope as shit. And uh, they just dropped the video. What was that this morning, Sean? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and he's trending for it, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a still image of Skeet Davidson? In yeah. That? There you go. We'll put that up on screen. What I like, it's, it's claymation. Yeah. And he, he even put the like dark pieces. Butthole eyes. Say it. I don't. Butthole eyes. I don't love, a, I don't love the butthole eye. That's what it's called, though. That's the medical term. Butthole eyes. Is it? Yeah. Um, and then he's stroking this, uh, this head in the video that's cut off. I love it because he poured rose seeds all over it, and then the roses grew out of mm -hmm. his head and, and all that shit, and mm -hmm. it was a nice thing for Skeet. Um, what? I, that's all I know him as now. Like, that name yeah. is stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as it did, because uh, about a week ago, Skeet Davidson joined Instagram, and that's when Kanye named him Skeet Davidson, and he shut that down within maybe 48 hours. Who shut it down? Pete Davidson. Oh, okay. It's gone. He has no more Instagram anymore after that. I say just roll with it if, if you're Pete, right? So I, I, that's the other side of this that I want to take. There was a comedian on Twitter today who just said, whatever you think about Pete Davidson or how hilarious this is or mortified you are by it, whatever it is, just know this. He's living the American comedian dream where he literally doesn't have to go and perform in one club and his day rate is just going up through the fucking roof as we speak, which is true. Because usually you have to do every fucking club in America to, to gain some fame because he's shitty on SNL. So it's not like he was going to charge right off of SNL and be like, oh, my God, there's the next great actor. He's not. Mm -hmm. But comedy-wise, if you want to be the most famous and get the most amount of money, all you need is a name. He certainly has that now without literally doing anything because he's fucking awful on Saturday Night Live. And I don't even think he pops back up that much, Bob. Um, I don't know if you watch it at all. Uh, I usually just watch the YouTube clips like, afterwards. Next, next yeah, if yeah. it's any good, yeah. Yeah, I'll go through. Like, I always watch the weekend update, but I, that, I, that's the Che and Joe's parts. I don't watch typically the sure people, the guests sliding Yeah, in I don't think yeah. anyone, like, sits down on a Saturday night anymore, right? No, and watches Saturday night. And, Live. like, catches it's, it's, it, it sucks. at 1130. Yeah, <laughs> right. It sucks. Yeah, no, it's not. Pete so Davidson is it's the biggest not, star to come off SNL in two decades. <laughs> it's so true. It, he it's is, though. So he's he's sad. bigger than Kristen Wiig. He's bigger than Bill Hader. Yeah. He's bigger than, I know. It's weird. So sad. It's fucking weird. The least talented guy in America is the most famous he, on there. And you're like, I, I don't, I, I just do not get it. He played, I didn't watch this whole uh, sketch, but I saw like a, a clip of it on Twitter or whatever. I guess he played like Joe Rogan a month or two ago. Yeah. And it was just. It was awful. Bad. Oh, yeah, it, was, it was terrible. He can't do impressions. He can't do anything else. His segments on Weekend Update here and there are okay. Um, that's, he can only be himself. That's which it. Which is fine, by the way. You don't have to be. No, you don't have sure. to be somebody, yeah. but it, you're on the wrong show for that. Like, that's Pretty the much, wrong yeah. fucking show yeah, for you. Yeah, I mean, unless you're going to be like a host of Weekend Update, you need to probably be able to act. Yes. And, and he's not going to be a host of Weekend Update. No. Uh, and the, the weird thing is, is uh, people at SNL don't like him either. Um, and every because of the way he treats it, like when he does interviews about SNL, he's just like, oh, yeah, you know, that's fucking that's what I do. And, you know, I'm not really in it and I'm not really that good. And, you know, and they hate me and they hate me. And, I, and it, it takes weeks off and shit. But like, unfortunately for Lauren Michaels, that's your most famous person. So you really can't fire him because you have nothing else. I don't even know who's left on that show anymore. Um, I know the Asian dude. It's grim. It's, it's dark. Yeah. It's really dark. It's but, grim. Um, I don't know who's on that show anymore. He wants to go to, to 50 years for the show and then quit Lorne Michaels. Uh -huh. I don't know if he'll get there is the problem because I think he's three more years. And I, uh. the, last three, the last three in particular have been horrific. But then if you really want to go back, take this back to 2015. That was probably when it was decent last. Whenever the Lonely Island guys got off of there. Mm -hmm. um, that's when it shit the bed to me. That's what it feels like, actually. You're just trying to, like, you know, the end of the marathon where the people are just kind of, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. over yeah. the finish line. That's yeah. sort of what it feels like. Like, pretty lazy. Every 
sketch needs to appeal to everyone. You're not doing anything too crazy. You're just kind of getting to the 50 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that's that what sense. it that's what it feels like. And uh, to get it over the finish line, you still need enough ratings to get there. And I guess Pete or Skeet Davidson's the guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, this video I found hilarious. It's trending right now all over Twitter of like, this is mortifying. This is whatever. No, dude, it's a claymation dude, and, uh, and it's fucking rad. The yeah. song is a banger, too. God damn it, dude. I think that helps, probably, but... Um, I didn't even give a shit if there was a music video. I, like, I'm, we're only talking about it because it's out today, but I, yeah, yeah, what a week ago, two weeks ago, I was like, dude, this song is the fucking best I've heard all year. Um, and it made me realize how much I missed the game. I'm like, where the fuck is he at, dude? Like, he's still great. What, what's going on? Right. He did have a great line because he's dating um, like a great value uh, version of Kim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A wish version of Kim? Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want to say. Shyness, yeah. whatever. But anyway, uh, he had a good line that was like, there's a, th- there's a million yous and only one me, right? Like, there's a thousand yous, there's only one of me. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's it's true, right? Whatever that means, like he could just pluck like from his Instagram literal lookalikes. <laughs> There's a ton. There's a ton. I mean, I think that's more of like an testament to her. But anyway, it still kind of is like, oh fuck. And Kanye, you you feel like he's off his meds on this one too, which I like. Uh, no more counseling. I don't negotiate with therapists. Uh-huh. I was like, way to go, dude. Way yeah. to fucking go, bro. Yeah, I love to see it. <laughs> love to I don't see negotiate it. with therapists. God. It's good. Yeah. He's there. He's still there. Uh, I didn't like the Donda 2 album, though, mm. uh, by the way. I wasn't a fan of that one. I, I, don't, I don't know if that'll ever be released besides that stem player, but uh, whatever the fuck he did with the game, congratulations, Jesus Christ. And it's a, it's a sample from an old Easy e song, so if you feel like you've heard the background before because a lot of people are like what is that from it's an old easy e song and then when he starts mixing at the end it's very like late 80s early 90s and you're like fuck you dude yes yes but for skeet what do you think the over under is that how many years that guy has left to live skeet yeah i say five from you think a, none of Kanye's fans are going to do anything to him. No, 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 not that. Uh, I don't think he's going to get killed, although it would be... Because Kanye doesn't have those type of fans. He doesn't. First off, most Kanye fans look like me. Yeah, oh, and not only that, but <laughs> there's a, a lot of Asians, so they're not going to do anything. Yeah, it's not... This isn't some, like... He's not, like... I, I don't think Compton goes bananas for fucking Kanye West. No, 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 not at all. Like, he is a suburban so rapper. So, I'm, I'm saying I think Homeboy's going to off himself. That's just my guess. No. Yeah. 20, 20 years from now, Pete Davidson is playing the tattooed stepdad Ugh. in some sort of no. rom-com film no. where it's no. okay to no. raise I actually think son. hot no. take, Kanye, something happens to Kanye before Pete. Way more likely. Well, that hey, that would be a great bet. If you were going to say, because uh, mybookie.com promo code drinker bros doubles your deposit. Uh, they usually do celebrity deaths like this of who would live longer. Does jail count? Like prison? No, prison? you got to die. And I, with both of them, that would be an awesome bet. Because I think, and I told you this last night, we watched the last part of that documentary, that genius documentary on uh, Netflix, mm-hmm. which was fucking great. And if you love Kanye or hate him, like uh, it'll either, either make you love him more or hate him more, depending upon what camp you lie in there. Um, but it was very, very well done, shot, edited well, all that shit. And it was fucking rad. Um, you also see why he is the way he is in that. And there was moments at the end where the guy just cut the camera and was just like, I, I love him even though he's my friend. He's off his fucking medication and this whatever he's talking about is fucking nuts. Um, and he just turned off the camera. So, yeah. But uh, I, I turned to you last night and I go, you know the best thing that would happen to Kanye West right now? Today. Is if he died. If he died, he would go down as everything he ever wanted to be and, uh, and people would just assume he's the greatest of all time, and, and you would never hear the end of it. There'd be Jesus yeah. t-shirts and a, a, everything. He's, the, he's on the John Lennon trajectory. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. Fuck, a fucking weirdo creep after his, his Beatles era is over. So now he's just in the post-Beatles part just of his pissing career. pissing people off, yep. like being borderline abusive, stalkerish, just 
crazy. Get weird political stuff. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he's a, he 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 decided to be Lennon and not McCartney, and he's <laughs> yeah. going well, real Lennon. You know the weird thing about that comparison is like Lennon had some solid fucking hits on his own, right? Yeah, and that I'd like. If you look at just the last week or two weeks, let's, let's take this song here. Mm-hmm. This song is probably my favorite song of the year so far. It's fucking amazing. But that Donda 2 album isn't good. So I think you're in a stage of your career where you're just probably picking and choosing one song at a time and not a yeah. full album anymore. Because he's not, he's not, he wings shits all over whatever Lennon did after he, like Paul McCartney's shit. Way better after the Beatles than Lennon's stuff after the Ooh, Beatles. Ooh, that is a Way fucking. <laughs> Are we, like, are we not going to talk even, about Imagine? or Even how you imagine. say it, too. <laughs> Live and let die. Even how you say it. Wing. That wing shit. Like. Yeah, wings. Who doesn't love wings? <laughs> oh. Band on the run? Band, Band on the run is great. Run. It's great. That fucking great. What? Lennon didn't touch that. Even his Christmas song is way better than Lennon's Christmas song. Lennon's Christmas song is like genocide on Christmas and Paul McCartney's like dancing around a Christmas tree. You know what I mean? Oh, and that McCartney song he did with, uh, shit, Kanye was great. Um, the one he did with, uh, Michael Jackson was great. Wings is better than fucking the Beatles. (laughs) Boy. 